Hi, I'm Phil Berman from Balanced Catamarans, and um, it's a quiet Saturday in the factory here in Cape Town because it's the one day when people aren't working. And I'm standing on a, a 502, one of the first 502, the new model that we've done. Um, and we're in uh, what's called the final assembly stage. So what is that? This is the stage where the hulls have been joined, the decks are on, the coach roof is on, and the primary structure of the boat, what we call hull, deck, and bulkhead are completed. I thought I'd take the opportunity at this time to discuss what is a carbon core boat? What are the elements that are different on these boats over our older carbon cross boats? Um, what's new and different about it and why are we doing it? So I'd say that the, the first thing is we're doing it because we are building balanced catamarans, okay? You can never have a boat that's fast enough on one level, and you can never have a boat that's comfortable enough on another. And merging and balancing those two needs is very, very difficult in construction. The best way to bring the weight down on a boat is either to put the boat on a horrible diet so that you don't have any equipment on it and you're living like a camper. That's one way to do it. Another way to do it is to cheapen the construction of the boat and make it flimsy, and that's no way to do it. And the other way is to build a boat really carefully with the highest quality materials to bring the weight down. You bring the weight down, the boat is lighter, it's faster. So we said, look, we had a customer that had a 482 who was in the composites industry. And he said, hey, would you guys consider doing my boat with carbon car partition panels and carbon bulkheads and carbon trunks to light my boat? And we thought about it and said, okay, yeah, that'd be a, a, yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Obviously, we had to charge him more money. And we were very impressed with the weight savings that came from that and made a decision when we elected to tool and design and re-engineer the new 502 and the new 464 to do what is called a carbon core. So we upped the carbon ante on the boats considerably because if you do the whole core of the boat in carbon, you're getting all of the strength benefits and stiffness benefits of carbon, but by not doing the hulls in carbon, you're not getting the noisy sound that you get from sailing an all carbon boat. They kind of end up sounding a bit like a drum. Um, and so the idea was keep the hulls and the decks in e-glass and make the whole structure of the boat in carbon. The other thing that we did that's different is on the older models, we all the outer skins of the boat were done in a vinyl ester resin, but the inner skins and inner workings were done in polyester resin. This was all to you know hold the price of the boats down. We elected with all the new, uh, the 464 and the 502 to go to all vinyl ester construction. So the vinyl ester resin has greater strength properties, which also enables us to lighten the boat a bit. So I'm in the 502 and thought I would show where's the carbon in the boat. So if you look at where I'm standing and you look down on the floor and you look around, everything that you see here that's black is carbon, okay? So the whole salon tray, the floor, where the uh, furniture sits on top of, the plinth for the uh, salon settee, this is all carbon. You'll see, you don't want to be confused here. So you see carbon coming down the mullions, but you see foam on either side. Okay. So this is an e-glass. This is not yet glass. All right. This will be glassed and sanded and hand fared um, to produce a really light, strong mullion. And adding the carbon in this area was important. Why? We had a mullion that was here on the boat, but we decided to remove that mullion. So we structurally had to stiffen this area. You see, this is all carbon across here. Um, and if you look inside here, <clears throat> this is a primary bulkhead that runs all the way across the boat. It runs out to the carbon door frames. Uh, so it's a foam core carbon fiber bulkhead, okay, all the way across. While we're in here, interestingly, you might enjoy seeing 
I'm looking at the new big skylight, roof skylight uh, that is here. And the idea here on the boat is that this skylight, when it opens up, is just a huge air flush and it's high so that you should be able to keep it open quite often when you're sailing without worrying about water coming in and you know, creating problems. And if water were to come in, it would be just coming down on the salon floor rather than over here where you've got electronics. We also built these big custom windows with Goyo that come in here. So all those open up at the top and there's a big brow that comes over them. So it's gonna be great in terms of leave, being able to leave them open and anchor and, and such. So I decided to just talk about that since here. Let's go down into the uh, starboard hull. Now we're in the starboard hull. And if you look around these floors, in the older boats, these were e-glass cabin soles. We call the floor the cabin sole. The cabin soles are now carbon. They're carbon, carbon panels. So that adds a, a, a lot of weight things to the boat. But also, this is, we make our own water tanks and our own fuel tanks. And we've already painted these ones gray, but these are now carbon. The tanks are carbon. Another big, big weight thing to the boat. Here is the dagger board trunk. The dagger board trunk is now all carbon. Another big weight thing. Dagger board trunks are under a massive amount of load. Um, so do it in carbon, you, you, you save a lot of weight. Um, if you come back, this is the aft shower. And in the aft shower, this is a classic. If you, uh, these bulkheads, you can see the bulkheads are carbon. And where you see green, this is um, e glass. Here we put <coughs> some carbon stiffening along the window lines. Anywhere you see a black carbon piece up against a green, you're looking at carbon, you're looking at e glass. This is one of the stern steps out here. You know how people love to see carbon when it's um, uh, clear coated or lacquered. So I'll put some water in my hands. And there you see the carbon. Uh, these are the steps that are leading up to the deck. We decided to go ahead and make these in all carbon because it makes them stiffer and lighter. Okay, so that's also uh, a significant change. So between the soles and that, the other area that's carbon is what we call partition panels. So what are partition panels? This is a partition panel. This is a partition panel. These are non-structural uh, areas of the boat that, well, they have some structure to them, but they're not under massive load. So you see this has got the green foam and carbon on either side. And there's partition panels underneath the floor at various areas. They, they conform to the curve of the boat and the uh, uh, cabin soles sit over the top. So those are little partition panels. So when you start talking about all these panels and these things being made super light, it really brings the weight of the boat down. If we go forward, Another change to the boat is you'll look down and you will see uh, what we call a stringer, all right? This stringer we've added to this boat, it runs from the forward cabin all the way up to the bow. And you'll see it's a combination of e-glass and carbon. So, the carbon is wrapped over the ends. What do these stringers do that are new to the boat? By putting these stringers in here, we're able to reduce the laminate schedule of the hull glass to reduce the weight of the boat, All right? We, um, we use these stringers on the, the new 750, um, and 
from an engineering perspective, they really add a lot of benefit in terms of bringing more weight saving. And they also add stiffness. So this will stiffen the bow of the boat quite a bit. Um, and the steps that go up from this locker are carbon, save a lot of weight. And you can see there's another um, carbon section here. And this is because we're we adding uh, hangers for ropes and, and things like that, right? Storage lines and, and, and that sort of thing. So that's a really, uh, neat thing that we're doing now. Um, and if you come up, I'm walking back on the um, starboard hull, here's your davits. So the davits, you can see, are foam and e-glass and carbon wrapped all around the bottom structural edge, right? Because you're carrying a lot of weight and load here. And you can see this is a big carbon patch, you know, that runs over there. Um, so once again, to really stiffen the boat. Looking back, you can see the carbon. Door frame hat track. Another carbon panel. Here's a here's actually um, just a, a piece of carbon cutout. Um, so this, this piece is, it's, it's nothing. It is, it's really quite amazing. So how are these made? All right, so all of these partition panels and all of these bulkheads are basically, we take the, the, the uh, foam core, and I'll show you in a bit, we have a, a vacuum table, and we vacuum, we vacuum bag all of these parts. We actually, well, they're infused. It's what's called infusion. So you get a really clean, lightweight laminate on these things, really, really light. Um, so that, in effect, is what is a carbon core boat. Well, we're the first builder to actually do this. Um, and we think it's a really good idea. It's going to make these boats faster. It's going to enable us to carry a lot more payload on the boats. I, I will tell you, the, the thing that is super clear to me on when you build voyaging boats is our customers all want the creature comforts. They're gonna, they want the refrigeration, they want the air conditioning, they need to carry spare anchors, they need to carry chain. People load boats up. Any builder that doesn't recognize that is crazy. And when you're building performance boats, you recognize that you to sustain that performance, you wanna keep your hulls as long, lean and narrow as you can while still building in the comforts that you need. But the lighter we build it, provided we build it strong, leads to a faster boat. So we're increasing the balance of performance, you know, on the boat. And as you've seen from the way we build our furniture, we're not removing furniture from our boat. We're having beautiful cabinetry, beautiful doors, all handmade, all foam core because that along with the carbon core construction, it's gonna be really difficult to build a performance that much lighter than the way we build these boats. The only way actually that the boats can be a little bit lighter is when we make that shift from a vinyl ester carbon to an epoxy uh, situation, which is what we do on the boats that we build in St. Francis, the Balance 58, the new Balance 540. Those boats are done with a lot of carbon as well, but they're done in epoxy. And by using epoxy, we could reduce the laminate schedules even more. Um, and in the Balance 750, which is here and built here in Cape Town, that was also an all epoxy boat. So it's about the only real difference and really excited about it. I'm on actually hull number two of uh, 502. So number one is across the yard. If you look going this way, you're looking at one of the uh, 442s, the older 442. The new 464 will be entering the production line very soon, and it is built in the exact same fashion as the 502. We're really excited about the boat. I can't wait to get out sailing. We are desperately hoping to get the boat to the Annapolis Boat Show in time, and we're not sure that we will. Um, it's more important to us that 
we get everything right and get everything tested before we, you know, start showing our boats. But we'll make every effort to do that. We're here. I'm here. It's in August of 2025. Um, and, you know, it's exciting. So stay in balance. And if you ever have any questions, let us know. Either email us or make a comment on the YouTube channel. And we'll try and respond as soon as we can. Take care.